Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to RDC. We are still trying to figure out our sheep. So, I've noticed, it says here food, it's got hay, alfalfa, test straw, and silage. At the bottom of that list, it's got total mixed ration. Now, uh, it says total mixed ration. Effectiveness is 20%. Now, I'm going to throw a couple of Teff straw bales down and just see what happens. Actually, I'll just try one. Because to me... Hay alfalfa testosterone silage is total mixed ration. So do I need two different types of total mixed ration? doesn't go in. Oops. Then I guess we're gonna... It won't go in separately, which means I'll have to mix it. Also says, let's see, sheep food. Its effectiveness is five, fifteen percent, and salt five percent. These sheep could get expensive. Okay. So I did buy a couple of two pallets of sheep food and two pallets of salt. Uh, we'll just try them out, see what it does for the sheep. As for the rest of the food, because I went and stuck um, soybean in all my fields. And I don't exactly want to plow it under. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to speed through time, harvest it all up, replant with alfalfa and, and teff, and we'll see what happens there. And I'm going to get rid of all these... The, regular straw bales and I'll do all of that off camera so that the next time I am back you will see there will be alfalfa and taff ready for harvest so for me I've got a probably couple of hours of work for you it'll be just a second Okay, well, as you can see, I got the salt and the sheep food here. But I'm torn. Do I just leave it and wait till I mix the alfalfa teff silage? See what it does. Because on you know, most maps, well, pretty much everything so far, well, at least cow wise, anyways. You do the total mixed ration, 
and your cows are pretty much good. You don't need to add in anything else afterwards. You're, they're fine. So I'm thinking I might just leave this stuff here for now. Because it's expensive stuff. I mean, you're talking about a thousand bucks a pallet here. So, if we go to here, check this out. Uh, big bags. All the way over. Sheep feed. $1,100 for a thousand liters. Salt. $1,050 for a thousand liters. So it's over $4,000 just for those four pallets. <sighs> and is the wool gonna be worth it? So we'll leave that for now. Right now, I got my work ahead of me. I still gotta get rid of all the hay bales that I can't use. And, well, yeah, speed up time. Get rid of some stuff. Oh, this is turning into a ton of work. This is code red. Code red. All right. I will see you in a bit. Alrighty. Well, we're doing our beans now. Just figure I should fill you in on what's going on. We're gonna let him do the beans. We have spent a lot more money, but we have made a bundle of cash too. Selling off all those bales paid off remarkably well. Made almost a hundred grand just on those bales. Also, the bank has been so generous and decided to increase my loan by seventy thousand dollars. So I am now in debt one point six seven five million dollars. Yay! Of course, you're looking at my bank going, but there's only $103,000 there. Well, I did have to lease a trailer to uh, pick up all those bales, because I wasn't doing that by hand, so I leased an auto loader. Of course, the only auto loaders I have are the semi trailer auto loaders, the Flegel semis. Am I even going the right direction? Yeah, there it is. Which also needs buy means buying a semi. So I bought myself a fancy new man. And I bought a uh, a s large square baler. Uh, not square baler. Square bale Flegal semi-trailer. Uh, because there is nothing. Oh, and I bought those. I figured I needed some Super Bs on here. Nice gunmetal color. And everything is, of course, a Fent Green. Isn't that nice? Man, that's a nice trailer. Uh, there's the uh, the Flegel flatbed. Now, if we go take a look in the shop, let's go over to Bailing Tech. Now, as you may know, I did get none of those. Yeah, the Heston big baler, but nothing will pick it up. The Andersons, the uh, Arkusen, nothing will pick it up. However, there is, what's this one? Just a flat back, flat tech. You've got the flatbed semi-trailer round bales, 
the flatbed semi-trailer square bales and the flatbed semi-trailer trailer square bales big. Now I haven't heard I haven't seen anybody using it yet, but I've heard it works, so I'm hoping it works. Now I'm looking at this also, it only holds 20 bales. You go to the other one, holds 30, so it's looking pretty good. There's lots of choices on this one too. Rim color, main color, let's go, this, oh, that didn't help. Uh, Russian to no I don't want to buy it let's go pink that's your main color and then design color pink and red match right there we go that's your design color and then the decal in the back you've got white red which goes really well with the pink and black. Auto load yes or no. Attachers. Now you can also add a pin hitch. And that's it. And then tires, lizard, trelleborg. All in all, nice trailer. Now I got this hooked up on here. But I kind of want to take the take the new uh, Wilsons seeing as uh, we are now harvesting beans okay and that'll probably be all you hear from me at least until the beans are done And we'll see you again soon. And good morning. As you can see, we are lucerns ready to harvest. We have, it has taken me a long time to get all of this ready to go. I did get a boatload of, uh, of soybeans now yes it's raining which means I can't do much right now however you'll also notice that I'm minus 200, or 200 almost $2,800 in debt uh, yeah I spent a lot of money a lot of money um, the bales, surprisingly large chunk of change out of that. And then I spent the money I did have, and then overnight my uh, loan fees and property maintenance put me over the edge. However, I've got 112,000 liters of soybeans, and it is sitting at $2,800. I am in normal mode. Let's go down here. We're in normal difficulty. I don't think I've ever seen it that high in normal difficulty. On any map. I've seen it around somewhere around 25, 2300, but yeah, this is high. So I'm going to take a couple of loads and we're going to make some cash. I did also buy, where is it, there it is, I got myself a Super B, that is a nice looking setup. I also changed my uh, seating setup. I've got the Lemkin here. Uh, what you knew about? Uh, the 
think the rest of the stuff is up there. What else did I get? Oh, I sold, yeah, I sold the slurry. Because the little six meter was too, taken way too long for these fields. Picked up the case, 490, disc harrow. And there we go, the horse tank and injector. Which has really been, really helped to speed things up. definitely paid off now instead of being almost minus three thousand dollars we're at 315 I like it okay now I guess I'm just gonna take the truck back wait for the rain to quit Get back to work. So 
So we'll see you when it's nice and sunny out. You know what? For now, I think we're just going to call this a video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Seeing the clips and steps it took are taking to get to being able to actually feed our sheep. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed it. This has definitely been a learning experience. So please like, subscribe, keep gaming, have fun, and we'll see you later.